Yo, welcome back, Zykor here, and today in Re-Legend, we're going to take a look at the ore and log locations of the Wilk Woods. Now, actually, there's quite a few locations in the Wilk Woods, so yeah, a lot of the areas have uh, harvestable area, um, not harvest, well, yeah, harvestable items on them, I guess you could say, harvestable spots, something like that. Anyway, um, and I've already done one on the Volca Coast area previously. If you want to check that out, check it out. There's a link in the description, and um, I have a card up in the upper right. And, of course, if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe as well. Because, yeah, that really helps us out, and we really appreciate it. So I'm going to get over to the Forest Island and see you when I'm there. Okay, the first area will be the Nurlik Cave. And I thought I'd show kind of the way to get there just because it's, I don't know, maybe somewhat hidden. Um, so on the map here, you enter Sunny Lagoon. Um, at, you enter the Forest Island on the Sunny Lagoon. Um, so then the next place you go to when you run down would be the Big Bit Lair, then down to Sunny Shore, and then you get into the Mystic Swamp. So after the Mystic Swamp, you just head up here, or I should say when you're in the Mystic Swamp, you just head up here to this little location, and this is the Nurlik Cave. Now in the Nurlik Cave, there is, there's three levels to it. I th yeah, there's three levels to it. Um, this first level has copper. Uh, would you stop attacking me? Okay, I, I pressed the wrong button there. There we go. There we, there we go. Copper. Silver. So get that. And then you head up here. And the next area has silver in it. So you just get that. And then it also has gold right over here. So get that gold. This is probably one of the more precious uh, gatherables in the forest. There's not very much of it. So, but if you want gold, this is one of the only locations to come to. And then down here, it's actually quite a distance here, but it's right here, silver. And you just grab that. So, heading on to the next area. And the next location is the Mystic Isle. This is where Bratis are. And you get to this from, let's see here. Yeah, let's, there we go. Uh, you get to this from the Misty Swamp here. You go up to Tremere Grove, and then you can go down to the left and get to the Mystic Isle. And I'm going to be attacked by a Bratis here. Otherwise, this is a Rubrum tree. Uh, let's get the right button. There we go. Hack that down with my axe. There we go. Yes, Rubrum logs. Okay, on to the next area. And the next area is the Green Woods, which is basically you come up from the Tremere Grove instead to Forest Route, and then to the green woods and there is two rubrum log trees here so this one here just get that and this one up here up in the corner kind of hidden there we go and if it looks like if it's in the wrong location you can't get it oh maybe it looks like it kind of goes out of the map. <laughs> uh, that's a bug. Next, we're here at the forest path. There's a uh, forest path. Forgotten path. Huh. Let's see here. Forgotten path right there. You get to here from the forest route. And I think it goes right to forgotten path. Actually, let me check that quick. Actually, no, I can just hit the N. There we go. Uh, woods Pathway, okay. Let's see. 
Okay, forest route, then woods pathway, then forgotten path. Yeah, it can kind of be confusing sometimes because their mini-map is, you know, it's not quite set up uh, easy to read. Anyway, um, yeah, there's copper ore here. So, copper ore. There is coal right here. These coal nodes. There is, there's actually two coal nodes. So this is actually a pretty good place to come if you want um, a good wide variety of resources here. And then that was a silver node right here. And then there's stipella trees. Just get these. So you get stipella logs. There's two of them. Nice when you get three logs. And there's also a rubrum tree. So actually quite a bit of stuff. Okay, over here in the witch marsh which is way over here. This is where the the witch's house is when you first uh, encounter her in the story, uh, Yuri, the witch. So basically you'd come, oh, let's see. It's actually quite somewhat of a distance to get here, but if you can get through the, the land of shroom area, and into the dark wood in those areas then yeah you can get to the witch marsh by i think going through the bushwhacker den uh, let me see and here yeah bushwhacker den so you just get to the bushwhacker den and you just come right out here and it's the witch marsh so there's stipella logs here which i'm trying to cut down with a sword that doesn't work so get the stapella logs. There's also rubrum logs. So get over here. Now this is actually a nicer wide variety of logs because there's stapella, rubrum, and silka logs here. So you get all three. And those are the only three logs available in the forest. And then this is the silka logs. There we go. And that's all that's in here. Now, um, you come up here, let's see, just above the Witch Marsh. So you'd go north in the Witch Marsh area. And you can get to the Pastrain Haven, which has one silver node. And I only have one, oh, two silver. Ah, that's not bad. So yeah, it has one silver node in it. Which, it, yeah, it's not necessarily, you know, the most, but hey, it's still some silver. Now, out here in the dark wood, uh, let's see here, yeah, the dark wood area, you can get to the dark wood from one of two locations. Um, let's see here. You can get to the dark wood from, um, let's see, into the woods, which is not too long after let's see it's like right in the area of the land of shroom uh, something like that um i think just below the bushwhacker den is, is where into the woods is right here yeah and you can also get there from the crossroads which is just past the witch marsh so yeah there's two locations and here there's also some rubrum logs and silka logs. So I'm gonna get the silka log right here because I came in from the witch marsh side. Grab my silka logs. And over here is the rubrum log. If I don't get attacked by them. So here's the rubrum log. Got nice three of them. And then all the way around and back over here is a silka tree. So get over here. It's so far away. Yeah, right here. Silka tree. And that is what's in the dark wood. 
Now out here in the crosswoods, uh, crossroads, um, there is two silka trees. So uh, one silka tree right here that gives you a bunch of silka. Silka logs. I mean, uh, yeah, it it's not guaranteed to give you that many, but <laughs> still. Uh, and another silka tree right here. Yeah, see, it only gives me one. Here in the mushroom cave, just take a look at that right here. Mushroom cave. You can get here from the crossroads, so it's directly below. Um, I don't think I showed the crossroads location. Um, the crossroads is right here, and you can get to the crossroads crossroads from Witch Marsh and Darkwood. Head back there, out here. Now the mushroom cave has copper ore in it. So copper ore right here. And it's actually iron ore right here. One iron ore. This is the only iron ore I know of on the uh, Wilk Woods, the forest island. And then there is a silver node way over here, as long as you don't get stuck on mushrooms. There we go, silver node right here. Now out here in the deep woods, which is just past the mushroom cave, so the deep woods here, um, goes, you come out right out from the mushroom cave into the deep woods. There are two spots of stapella logs. So it's two stapella trees here. Let's just do some deforestation. And this other one is right here. They're clearly visible. <laughs> now in the ecotone, uh, which is right out here. So, and you basically get to the ecotone from the deep woods. It's the only only location that comes into the ecotone. And the ecotone is the campsite of the forest island. So that's another interesting thing to remember. There is a coal node right here. There we go. Only gave me one, which isn't fair. And then, uh, Rubrum tree right up here. There we go. Now at least I got two there. And this is the campsite right here, right next to it. And the last area with actual nodes in it here is Honey Cove, which you'd get to from Cloud Canyon as well. You just kind of go left in Cloud Canyon rather than right. Uh, you'd go right in Cloud Canyon to get to Goblin, Goblin Hideout. You'd go left in Cloud Canyon to get to Honey Cove. And basically right here, there is coal nodes. Eh, I keep pressing the wrong button. So a coal node. And there's a gold node. So all that co coveted gold node. This is the only other gold node there is besides the one in the Nurlik cave. And then there's another coal as well. So actually there's quite a bit of coal on the forest island. So it, it's the best place to go for coal. And the final spot I want to cover doesn't actually have any nodes. But it's something interesting I saw here. This here is the queen's hive um, right here and you get to the queen's hive by going up north in the dark wood which uh yeah the dark wood is kind of a main hub for getting a couple of different places now the weird thing is there's no nodes here it you know if you just run around and look as you can see there's none right here on the mini map visually but if you go over here to the left, now I'll bring I'll bring up the end mini map here, right here. You see, uh, where, right where my mouse is, right here, there is a little node right there, and it's basically off of the map. So I guess I'm my question is, how do you get to this? Um, leave a comment and let me know. And basically, that's my challenge to you: <laughs> find a way to get here. If you, I mean, if you can get there, 
Who knows? Maybe it's not gettable right now. Although this little notch here does seem like it could be, you know, a clue as to get there because it does head straight there. But I did try a few things here and I couldn't find a way to get there. So I don't really know. So if you've gotten there to that node, you know, let me know because it would be really interesting to see exactly how to get there. Otherwise, you know, this could be a bug, you know, in there. You know, maybe it's not supposed to be there or it's something they're going to be adding later on. You never know. Could be it's just that it's not open yet. So yeah, that is all for the ore and node locations or and node locations or and log locations in the Wilk Woods. So, yeah. If you like this video, hit that like button. Really appreciate it. It really helps out a lot. If you haven't already subscribe, hit that bell icon, leave a comment, and of course share it. The Wilk Woods is a pretty good place to come if you want resources because it does have a lot of them. So yeah, Wilk Woods is one of the best, at least in the current. Maybe after 1.0 comes out, there will be some others. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.